Hello students you are warmly welcome to my youtube channel education wmh in this video i am going to discuss a grade 8 mathematics second term test paper for the upcoming term test i invite you to subscribe my channel and watch more videos question number 1 write the next two terms of the given number pattern we are given this number pattern 5, 12, 19. Uh, we have to find the common difference between each successive term here. 5 plus 7 is 12. Then 12 plus 7, 19. Then 19 plus 7 is uh, 26. Then 26 plus 7, 33. These are the next two terms. Then second question. Find the perimeter of the given figure. If I draw this figure again. This is the figure given for us. These sides are equal in length. Then these two sides are equal. One is 2 centimeters. Then this side 4 centimeters. This one 6 centimeters. And this 10 centimeters. So uh, this length is equal to this one. Uh, according to the symmetry of this figure. So we can take uh, 10 plus 6 plus 6. Then these two vertical uh, sides, 2 plus 2 is 4. Then if we take these horizontal sides, the addition of these three sides is equal to 10 centimeters. So the total uh, perimeter is 46 centimeters. Question number 3. We are given this to simplify. Minus 15 minus minus 7. We have to uh, simplify this. Uh, minus 15. Then we have to convert this uh, subtraction into addition by taking the additive inverse of this second directed number. That is plus 7. Minus 15 plus plus 7. The answer is minus 8. We have to take the difference between the two magnitudes. 15 minus 7 is 8. Then we have to take the sign with the largest magnitude. So minus 8 is the answer. Question number 4. Find the magnitude of x. These three angles. x plus 20 then 170 and 80. Uh, all these are uh, three angles located around the point. We know that the sum of the angles around the point is equal to 360 degrees. So we can write the equation addition of the three angles equal to 360 degrees. We can add these three angles x plus here the addition is 270 equal to 360 degree. Then x equals 360 degrees minus 270 degree. The value is 90 degrees. Question number 5. Price of a book is by rupees. If the price uh, increased by 6 rupees, then find the price at 6 such books. Uh, after the uh, increase of the price, price of one book is y plus 6 in rupees. To take the price of 6 such books, we have to multiply this by 6. Question number 6. Give two examples for 
platonic solids with equilateral triangular faces. The first one is the regular tetrahedron. Regular tetrahedron. Uh, then in octahedron also we have equilateral triangular faces. Then the next one is the regular icosahedron. Question number seven. Find the value square root of 256 minus square root of 1. Square root of 256 is equal to 16. Then square root of 1 is equal to 1. 16 minus 1, the answer is 15. Question number 8. We are given this to simplify. Minus 5 times 2a plus 3 minus 8. First we have to remove the bracket here. Uh, we have to multiply the two terms inside the bracket with the number outside the bracket. Minus 5 times 2a. That is minus 10a. Then minus 5 times plus 3 is minus 15. Minus 8. Then we have to add these two numbers. Minus 10a. Then minus 15 minus 8 is equal to minus 23. Question number 9. Is X and Y are adjacent angles? Give reasons. No, these two are not adjacent. What is the reason for that? Uh, although there is, a, uh, there is a common norm and a common vertex, these two angles do not lie on either side of the common norm. They are on the same side of the common norm. Question number 10. Write 30 minutes as a percentage of 2 hours. First, we have to write it as a fraction. We have to convert 2 hours into minutes. 1 hour equal to 60 minutes. Then 2 hours equal to 120 minutes. So we can write it as a fraction. 30 over 120. Now to convert this into a percentage, we have to multiply by 100%. Then uh, 0 and 0, we can remove that. 3 times 1, 3 times 4. 100 divided by 4 is 25. The answer is 25%. Question number 11. Find the area of the figure. Uh, this figure is uh, separated into a square and uh, one triangle. So we can find the area uh, by finding the area of the two separate figures. Uh, the area of the square is equal to 5 multiplied by 5 plus area of the triangle half into what is the uh, perpendicular height here. We can take the perpendicular height as 5 centimeters. Then the base 11 minus 5 is 6. 2 times 1, 2 times 3. 5 times 5 is 25 plus 15. The answer is 40. The unit is square meters, square centimeters. Question number 12. Write the number of vertices and edges of a regular dodecahedron. In a regular dodecahedron, we have 20 vertices and 30 edges. Question number 13. Name a pair of complementary angles of the given figure. Complementary means the sum must be equal to 90 degrees. So we can take uh, two, triang uh, two angles here. Complementary angles. One uh, BOC angle. BOC angle and then uh, COD angle. 
uh, as the sum of the angles on a straight line is equal to 180 degrees, uh, the sum of the other two angles, that means uh, A O B, A O B and uh, D O E also equal to 90 degree. So, we can take this pair also. They are not given complementary adjacent. So, uh, then uh, no need to be adjacent angles, only complementary angles. Question number 14. Find HCF of 3AB, 15BC and 24ABC. Uh, we can write uh, each uh, algebraic term by expanding the uh, terms, expanding the factors here. We can write this by 3 multiplied by A multiplied by B. Then 15 BC. 15 BC can be written as 15 can be written uh, as product of prime numbers as 3 multiplied by 5 into B into C. Then 24 ABC. 24 can be written as uh, let's divide it. Dividing by 2 it's uh, 12. Then again we can divide by 2. 6 Again, we can divide by 2, 3, 3 times 1. So, we can write this as 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into A into B into C. Then we can circle the common factors here. 3 can be taken. Then also B can be taken. Only these. No common factors. So HCF of the two terms, three terms is equal to multiplication of 3 and B. 3B is the HCF here. Question number 15. When the time in minus 8 time zone is 1 p.m. Find the time in plus 2 time zone. I will draw a rough diagram here. This is 0 time zone. This is plus 2 and this is uh, minus 8. In minus 8 the time is 1 p.m. So uh, to take the time in 0 time zone. At this uh, moment we have to add 8 hours to 1 p.m. 1 plus 8 is 9. Here 9 p.m. Then to take uh, the time in plus 2 time zone we have to add another 2. That is 11. 11 p.m. is the answer. The time in plus 2 time zone is 11 p.m. Question number 16. Name the polygon uh, which have rotational symmetry but not bilateral symmetry. Write the order of rotational symmetry of that. The only figure with uh, rotational symmetry but not bilater bilateral symmetry is the parallelogram. Uh, the order of rotational symmetry is equal to 2. Question number 17. Arrange the following in descending order. Let's take the values of the uh, indices here. Minus 1 to the power 3. We know that uh, an odd power of a negative number is negative. So one, uh, if you multiply 1 uh, any time we get 1 as the answer. So minus 1 is the answer here. Minus 5 to the power 1. That is equal to minus 5. Then 2 to the power 3. 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. The answer is 8. Then last one. Minus 1 to the power 8. Even power of a negative number. That is positive. The answer is plus 1. We have to arrange them in descending order. That means the largest one to the smallest one. What is the largest value here? This one. 
So we have to write 2 to the power 3 first. The next one is this 1. Minus 1 to the power 8. Uh, if you compare minus uh, 1 and minus 5, this one is the largest one. Minus 1. So minus 1 to the power 3. The last one is uh, minus 5. Minus 5 to the power 1. Question number 18. Find the total surface area of a cube of side length 8 cm without lid. Uh, lid. Um, if you uh, take the area of one side, 8 multiplied by 8. This is the area of one side of the cube. Then uh, they are given without lid. So we have to take the area of 5 sides here. Uh, this is equal to 320 square centimeters. Question number 19. Express 81 x squared as a power of a power of product. 81 can be written as 9 squared multiplied by x squared. So uh, we can write it as a power of a product as 9x to the power 2. Question number 20. A solid has 9 edges and 6 vertices. Find the number of faces it has. We can use the Euler's relationship here. Number of vertices plus number of faces equal to number of edges plus 2. We can substitute the given details here. Uh, number of vertices are given that is 6 then we are finding the number of faces then number of edges here is 9 plus 2 uh, we can take this plus 6 into the other side number of faces equal to 11 minus 6 number of faces is equal to 5 